Callum, congratulations. Thank you. Fairly straightforward victory, did it feel that way? No, because the first aim, he missed a few darts to win it. And to be fair, I've said it to the last two interviews I've done, he should have won the first set, which I didn't kick off well the, the last leg. But to be fair, I said you're not settling until you win a set, and I'm glad he didn't, because if he had settled, because his scoring was there with us, like, he was keeping up with us and scoring, I would say, just go away for one second. But you know what I mean? It's one of them. I'm happy to get through, but there's more to come in next round, hopefully. Nice to banish the not wanted memories from last time you were on that stage. Yeah, I watched, <laughs> I watched that the other day, to be fair. And I think it was the second set. I missed three darts at double 12, and then that, that set, I had darts at double 12. I was thinking, yeah, just don't miss it this time. But nah, it, to be fair, listen, every game's different, and I know that. When I played James last year, I, I prepared well, I was practicing well, but it just didn't happen on stage. I, I'm not the first person to happen, I'll not be the last person that's happened to, but. Hopefully, just now it clicks in a little bit more. How much of a difference did it make coming back here and playing in front of the fans instead of that empty echo you were oh, I loved it. I, I, I love the fans being there, the, the chanting and everything, but last year was awful. Just no fans, just two billboards at the back. And to be fair, it, it just didn't feel like a world championship for me. But again, if you win it, it, will, it is a world championship. You know what I mean? I can't say it's not, but. Nah, it didn't feel like a, a real world championship without fans there. We had them one night, and I was the night after. Like it was the northeast days, everyone told it. But hopefully that that'll happen again one day. Northeast day, that was good. Last year you were talked about as a prospect. This year you've been talked about as a potential dark horse. How much have you matured this year? How much have you learned across the year? I mean, to be, to be fair, I, after we really beat us last year, I didn't play, I didn't pick up my darts until the first pro tours started. And I just said, look, it's been a nice two months break, but now it's time to kind of try to get back into it. I thought the first weekend would just be a little, try to pick up a few quid here and there, but then I won one, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, but you know what I mean? It, it was nice, but that's when I thought, that's when I belong with the boys, when I won a title and they were all there. That's when I thought, yeah, I belong here with these boys. That win today puts you into the top 32 for the first time as well. I know that was something that Does it? was on your bucket list. Yeah, you're now originally 31. My above Chris. Yes, at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best player in the street now, it's official. <laughs> but nah, he's got, a, he's got a play. I'll be watching. Obviously, we're playing the same day now, I think. I think he's the last on Thursday night, isn't he? Off the top of my head, yeah. So it'll be nice. I'll not be here to watch him. I'll be going, I'll be going home after that. I'm, after all this is done, I'm, I'm going to go home and spend some time with my family because I haven't really spent that much time with them, but practicing for this big event. Saw on your Instagram as well, your foot still giving you some jip after the operation? Yeah, it's, it's not the best, but I haven't got the time to really re get it done and move the, because the plate's moved a little bit, so I need it moved back into place, but I haven't got the time for it. But yeah, it still gives us a bit jip. It's normally like when I'm sat down for a long period of time, I get up, I'm quite stiff, but other than that, once I'm on it, I'm fine, but it's when I'm stopping, I stop walking, stop. You know, I'm like in the morning, I'm like a walking zombie with my foot, but nah, it, it's all right, but I do need the other operation on. I'd say, is it another operation to yeah. fix it? Yeah. Not, not great then, no, more time in a cast and everything like that. It's not great, I should probably stop, you know, playing football and that, but <laughs> I mean, I haven't played for a while since I got sent off, but you know, <laughs> you just try to, to live and you learn, haven't you? Callum, many congratulations, thank you, thank you very much. Callum, Phil was talking there about last year you being a prospect and now you're sort of a challenger as such. Has the, the expectation changed in your mind as well? No, I just, I, I don't see myself as a, a challenge. I, the, the, the deeper I go, that might change. But to me, I'm just, I'm here to play darts. If I win it, if I win the next round, come back after Christmas, win again, then I might start thinking this, this could be my right, year. But at the same time, it's just game by game. And obviously, as I said, up into the top 32, it's been quite a quick rise really since you got on the tour. Not many players do it, do it that quickly again. Yeah, I would say that, but listen, I, I might not be there for long because there's still people to play and you know there's, there's still people in. It's nice to hear that I'm, in, I'm top 32 in the world, but to me, we'll see what, once this is done where I am. But that, that's a great achievement, I, I have got to say. Two out of two for the Geordies, obviously Ryan won the other day, yeah. so Adam Hunt up, up tonight. Yeah, he's tonight, nice, yeah. Days. Yeah, I wish Adam the best. I hope it, I hope he does a job on Boris. That's not the best stroke as Boris is a good player, but he's been struggling to win on TV. And Adam's, you know, he's won a few games on the big stage. So hopefully tonight, nice three win, three nil win for him, and we're back home. Thank you.